Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And before we get into today's video, we've got a fantastic announcement about the latest online Yellow Belt course that we've just released. If you go below this video, you will see the link that will take you straight to that Yellow Belt course and it will also give you access to a 24 hour limited discount offer on the price of this course. This material contains all the techniques that I use 90% of the time with my clients. If you want to start to become a world class technical problem solver, this isn't just a certificate, this is world class skills buried in this course, then this is the course for you. We are delivering some of the best skills online anywhere in the world. Click on the link, get the best Yellow Belt course you'll ever see right now. Okay, so now what we're going to take a look at, we're going to take a look at the Poisson distribution in this video. So now we go Poisson, and as we've said before, of course, with all of these distributions you need parameters and you need a question to answer okay so the parameters in the case of the Poisson is something called lambda you can describe it as the arrival rate it is the only parameter you need and it is indicated by the Greek letter L there, lambda. Um, and it's known as an arrival rate. And then of course what you've got to come up with, you've got to come up with a question. A question to answer. So it's the same with all the probability distributions. What are my parameters? What's the question to answer? So we're going to use a, a, a little case study out of my uh, Six Sigma notes uh, that I often use. So let's take a look at that case study. Okay, look, we've got a company involved in a casing exercise and they're trying to save space in a warehouse. And the issue is that in order to save the space in the goods inwards department and release the most useful space, they must reduce the number of loading bays from nine to four. If there are 50 deliveries in an eight hour period and it takes 30 minutes to offload each lorry, what's the probability four bays will not be enough? Okay, so we've got the question to answer. What's the probability that four bays will not be enough? So let's take a look at that arrival rate first of all. So we've got 50 lorries coming in eight hours which is the arrival rate is 6.25 lorries per hour. But the arrival rate must be defined in the window that you're interested in. So in this case, the window that we're interested in, when the first lorry arrives, we're going to take 30 minutes to offload it before that loading bay becomes available again. What are we scared of? We are scared of five lorries arriving in a 30 minute window. So we don't want Lambda to be in that unit. We want it to be in the 30 minute unit. So I'm going to divide that in half and therefore my Lambda becomes 3.125 lorries per 30 minutes. So there's my parameter, that's Lambda. The question to answer, the probability that in a 30 minute window, we get five or more greater than or equal to five lorries arriving. That's the problem we've got. These loading bays take fast moving items we are delivering directly to line site. If we get a queue in this system 
we will stop production lines. Let's take a look at what the potential probability is. So here we are in SPC Excel again. We're going to go to discrete distributions. This time, working our way down the list, we're going to select Poisson. Up comes the window. So of course, we've only got one parameter, uh, which is Lambda. Now, Lambda for our problem is 3.125, the number of occurrences. So I'm going to put five in. And then it's greater than or equal to five because that would be a problem to us. So greater than or equal to five is the bottom answer right there, 20.6%. Okay, let's put that on the board. So the probability of getting a Q, in other words, is 20.6%. I think if you put in nine loading bays, or currently we've got nine loading bays, if we put nine in and say, what's the probability of 10 lorries coming? It's something like one chance in a thousand. So in other words, one day every three years, we might get 10 lorries queuing on our loading bays. We are gonna go from one day every three years to one day per week. This is not acceptable. Now this is the difference between observation and of course the dynamic nature of lorries moving, coming and going. Probability is not a static observation. The observation goes like this, look. We've got on average three lorries arriving. We've got four loading bays. If I do this by observation, what do I think? I've got 33% more loading bays than I need to do the job. That's okay, isn't it? That's a static observation. But that isn't the question you need to answer. The question you need to answer is, how often will my bays get overwhelmed? And that's what we're asking. What's the probability of five or more lorries arriving in a 30 minute window? and it's 20.6%. That's a high percentage for a fast moving warehouse like this one and isn't good enough. So here's the difference. If you've got arrival rates, things like, how many people do I need in a call center to make sure that people don't queue very long when they're trying to uh, answer questions you know, at a, a telephone answering service? How many beds do you need in a hospital? How many loading bays do you need in a warehouse? How many people do you need processing invoices? You have an arrival rate for invoices. So how many people do I need in accounts payable to make sure that we're processing all the invoices successfully every week and not developing a huge queue and getting behind the system? So you can see this, the Poisson distribution usually relate, relates to what I would say is queue theory you're trying to make sure that you don't get a queue of some kind, uh, you don't get a waiting list of some kind. That's what the Poisson distribution is about. And it's the difference, once again, between observation and prediction. Probability, if you just go with observation, is going to catch you out. Use these distributions when you need them and make better decisions.